Assalamu alaikum. This time we have an Acer Aspire 5 laptop that has a BIOS issue during the update. Our laptop model is Acer Aspire A51543. This is the motherboard number and the BIOS chip is UC7. It is XMC64 megabits means 8 megabytes. If you don't know how to get the BIOS bin file from that chip, you can just watch my other video. This laptop belongs to AMD platform and it doesn't have a descriptor region like Intel so we can expect anything in the header of the file. The footer could be empty like this, no problem with that. And the full length is 800,000 in hexadecimal because the file size is 8 megabyte. I have to take a look on the serial number to confirm if the file is original or not. Yes, it is here, this one. Now we'll go to Acer website to check the serial number. As you can see here, it is the same model number as in our original file. So we are good, let's continue. To find my current BIOS version, I can search for this string, BVDT. My current BIOS version is 1.08. I can choose the same version from Acer. But this time I will download the latest BIOS version, it is 1.12. Extract this file. Extract this one too. Here we got a binary file, but as you can see, it is larger than our original file. I can search for iFlash until I find my BIOS header. It is here. Or in this case, I can copy the first line of my original file and search for it instead of iFlash. As you can see, it is the same offset that we got before. I have to delete the extra data before this offset. Now I can't find the footer in the same way because it is filled by F. But I can search for iFlash again. Yes, here we got the footer. Or I already know the length of my original file. So I can go to the beginning of the new file, choose select block and put 800,000 in the lens. We got the same result and I can delete the extra lens after this offset. Go and save the file as anything.bin. Now as you can see, both files have the same header. Footer length and size 2. You can use this new file and the laptop will work but the DMI will be empty like serial number, model number, MAC address etc. So I will go to the DMI block in the original file. Select 1000 starting from this offset. To be sure that the whole info are there. Copy this block, go to the same offset in the new file and choose best right. We have to do the same for the OEM Windows key. Find it in the original file. Copy these lines. Go to the same offset in the new file. And choose best right. Then save the file. Do we need to clean the ME region for this file? Absolutely not, it doesn't have ME region at all because it is AMD BIOS, not Intel BIOS. So you can use this file like this and it will fix any issue of your device. I hope you learned something new this time and we'll see you in another video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.